Seeksters, hi YouTube. Hope your day is going well. Today's video is gonna be a fun video because I'm gonna be showing you guys how I build everyday outfits for winter. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. The process for building a look is really to start with one item and build my look around it. So it could be a pair of shoes, it could be a clutch, it could even be a pair of glasses. Originally, I wanted to start off the look with my star print sweater from Lovely Wholesale, but when I went to my closet to pull the look together, I decided that I'd rather wear my Femme sweater, which basically has the same color palette, um, and I got that this sweater from Express. So I went with a slip skirt just because I feel like it's perfect um, for the season. You can throw on tights, leggings, whatever it is you need underneath and it will still work with the over the knee boots perfectly. Um, for jewelry, the only thing I have on right now is my A necklace that I always wear, but a watch and a bracelet combo is always a go-to for me trying something different with this styling video so let me know in the comments below how you feel about it or if you prefer for me to go back to my old process i'd love to know okay um because figuring out these angles chow so i put on this wig i think it goes really well with the look i'm going for to accessorize i'm only gonna do one thing which is Throw on these brown tinted aviators. Um, I think they go really well. I would totally wear this work, this look to work if you work in a more business casual environment. If you have an event on a weekend, like a you know a brunch or a networking event, this look would also work perfectly. Okay, if you haven't met yet, my name is Chi Chi and I am the blogger behind SuppleChic.com and SuppleChic TV here on YouTube um, where we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and you like what you see in this video, consider subscribing down below. The link is right down there. It's waiting for you. We'd absolutely love to have you in the fam. And of course, if you're already subscribed, hey boo. So for this next look, the focal point for the look is going to be the pants. I knew I wanted to style these green paper bag pants. I envisioned this to be a casual Friday type of look or a look that you would wear when you want to look put together but you still want to look comfortable. And so I paired these pants with the white um, turtleneck that I currently have on now. I was going to pair it with another pair, another turtleneck, but it's in the wash because I really hate when turtlenecks do this thing where it like droops. I don't know if I have like the world's shortest neck or something or skinniest necks. I don't know. But anyways... Um, so I paired it with the turtleneck and then um, I also decided to throw on a chunky sweater and for shoes I opted for my snakeskin flats. Um, just so we can add a little bit of print and the colors in the flats kind of play up really well with the pants as well because it's kind of like a taupey color but there's if or beige color but almost but on the greenish side tint has like a greenish tint to it so I felt like it would go very well with the pants. I also threw on my um quilted crossbody to complete the look. It's cozy, it's comfortable, but it's polished. So for the next look, the focal point is gonna be this sweater dress. I pretty much put together the entire look around this dress. And what I love about sweater dresses and jumpsuits and things like that is that it's one and done. All you have to think about is your accessories and your shoes. And speaking of accessories and shoes, I realize that I haven't been talking much about like what I like to accessorize my outfit. So my go-to thing, which you guys can't see, um, with all of my outfits is gonna be my A necklace, which of course I will have everything that I talk about in this video linked down below. Last I checked it was on sale, it may still be on sale. Um, so I'll definitely link it for you guys. And then for watch, I just have on my wood watch. I'm sure you guys can see. And then I threw on this cowrie um, style bracelet that I picked up from ASOS earlier in the year. This was like super popular earlier in the year. I don't know if it's still as popular now, but not every time wear what's on trend. Sometimes wear what you like. 
and I still love this, so I still wear it. So I really like the way the whole color combination came together. Love the way the taupe in the bag complemented the green in the sweater, and of course all of the black accents kind of tied everything together with the big Baker Boy hat and the black over the knee boots and of course the black watch that also had some gold accents as well. So for this next look, it was all about the boots. That was the focal point for this look. And I styled everything else around it. I wanted to really play around with brown and black. And something I'm trying to get a little bit more used to is, you know, sort of changing up my color palettes. I really, really, I love monochromatic looks. I tend to gravitate to those looks. I tend to do um, a print and a color and a neutral, but I'm coming to a point where I'm trying to start pushing myself into styling more neutrals together, like black and brown and green and gray and beige, like colors we don't necessarily think to put together, but actually work well together and are actually one of the signs of you know a polished wardrobe um when i think about wardrobes that stand the test of time they're typically wardrobes where people have learned how to mix and match neutrals opted for my new favorite pair of jeans i've worn them way more than i should i think i'm about to order like two more pairs um because they're not really a jean that you should wear all the time because they're super distressed but i'm just obsessed with the shape um and i thought about getting of the pair that wasn't like distressed but the wash just wasn't as good as this pair. Um, so they're the 90s style jeans and I'm gonna put a link to them down below, but they pair really well with these midi boots. I'm just obsessed with the cognac color of this boot. I'm obsessed with the faux croc embossing on this boot. It just looks so rich and just so sufficient. Yeah, sophisticated, so expensive. Um, and of course, I'm gonna link these boots for you guys down below as well. So I threw on my distressed black jeans with the look. I added, um, of course, the brown boots, which is like the focal point of the look. And I know some people are scared to wear black and brown together, but pairing black and brown with denim, in my opinion, especially a lighter wash denim, really helped to bridge the gap. You don't want to go with something too dark in this respect, or, but, but, unless you go for like black. So if you did an all black look with some brown boots, that could also work. Um, but I like the way the light wash, um, jeans kind of complement the brown in the boot. And also, in my opinion, complement the black in the sweater as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, I added these shades because they're tinted brown. So I feel like that helps to add, um, sort of like bring back the brown into the look. Now, I know these shades are kind of extra and not for everybody, but I love um, the vibe that they give off. Um, let me know how you feel about the shades in the comments below because they're taking they're taking a little while for me to get used to. I knew I wanted, you know, brown tinted shades, um, but the gold hardware is a little bit more in your face than I thought it was going to be. I wanted something a little bit more subtle, but it's growing on me. So let me know in the comments what you think about the shades. And of course, if you would wear all of these shades together in a look. All right, guys, so let me know how do you feel or how did you feel about this video? I was trying something a little bit <laughs> different. Oh my God, y'all, if y'all knew the struggle that it took to set up the camera right, um, I was recording on two cameras. Well, one was my phone and one is this camera. Lord, trying to step up the game in 2020, but it ain't easy. Comfort zones, stepping out of your comfort zones. <laughs> trust me not easy at all so definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and of course share it with a friend um let me know your thoughts i asked you so many questions in this video so let's come on come on come on down below i'm not going anywhere let's let's i'll be right there in the comments leave a comment answer a question come on <laughs>
rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And here's where I say, until next time, stay blessed. I want you to stay blessed, but girl, I don't want you to go anywhere. Make sure you open up that description box, one, because it has links and details for everything that I wore in this video. Two, because I have links to all my playlists. So if you want more outfit inspo, if you loved this little winter styling video, I have even more for you down below. And if you wanna know what I'm buying, because you like the pieces in this video, I also have a haul playlist for you down below as well. So um, go get some tea or some hot cocoa, whatever it is you prefer to drink. My beverage of choice is probably um, raspberry lemonade and whatever snacks you like to snack on and um, get comfortable. Watch some more videos.